Sorry guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Hyper Hunter from Prime 4 Catapults. Don't go away. Hey, how's it going guys? It's extremely bright out here. I can barely keep my eyeballs open and the wind is just ferocious. But um, I just realized I hadn't shown you this frame yet. Uh, this is the Hyper Hunter from Prime 4 Catapults. And uh, this just might be one of the best EDC frames of all time. Uh, really is small, compact, fits in your pocket real great. Uh, but we'll, we'll get into that in a couple of minutes. First, we're gonna take a few shots uh, at that can, and then uh, I'll break down all the specs and everything for you. All right, I'm gonna bring you in close. We're gonna have a quick look at this guy. The Prime 4 Catapults Hyper Hunter is made out of G10. Orange and black, looks really nice. Um, it's about one centimeter thick uh, at the forks and about one and a half to two centimeters at the, uh, at the end of the handle. It's got a nice narrow waist. Overall length of this guy from the tip of the handle to the tip of the forks is 115 millimeters. The fork width of this guy comes at 85 millimeters and it's got a really nice 20 millimeter uh, clipped fork tips. So makes uh, band changes real quick and easy. The crazy thing is guys, the overall weight of this is 88 grams or 3.1 ounces. It weighs almost nothing and that's with the band set. Now in case anybody's wondering, I've got Celtic Blue, uh, Celtic Caddy Blue bands on here, 0.6, uh, tapered from 22 to 12. And you can see I've got a little bit of sticking over here on either side. And I've got the GZK pit locating pouch on here and we'll be shooting eight mil steel today. So when I first saw this frame, I really thought that the grip was gonna be terrible, uh, that it was gonna be an issue. It's very smooth, um, but it does have this, I don't know if you can see here right where my middle finger is. I've got this little spot where it wraps around and it kind of dips in here just a tiny little bit. I'm hoping you're picking that up on the camera, but um, it actually locks your hand in quite well. So as you're pulling back on a draw, it, uh, it feels great, it just locks right in. And for a light frame, the way this thing locks in, it really doesn't uh, give me all that much recoil. I thought it would be more. Now we are only shooting with 0.6 bands, so there shouldn't be all that much uh, recoil on it, but maybe if we were shooting uh, you know, 0.8 or 0.7, uh, it would be a little bit different. But um, from the experience that I've had with this so far, no recoil, pretty nice shooting, and the grip is pretty good for a nice flat frame like this. Um, it definitely isn't one of the most comfortable uh, frames or, or uh, best grip frames, but it does lock in pretty well with that little bump that's in here. That really makes a big difference. So uh, if we had to call this on, on 10 for how the grip is, if it's secure and comfortable enough to shoot uh, for long periods of time, I'd definitely give it a six and a half to seven, somewhere in there, probably a seven for sure uh, on this out of 10. Pretty decent. Ooh, 15 meter shot, not bad at all. Now, I gotta tell you guys, where this frame really shines is its slim profile and its size. Now, this little frame is probably the most pocketable frame I've ever, I've ever made. Now, I'm gonna give you a nice gratuitous ass shot in a second, but I'm wearing probably my tightest jeans that I own, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and see how this thing slides in and out of pockets. It's in and out. Even in the front pocket, in and out. No problem at all. Right in here, nice and comfortable. If you wanted to keep it on an inside pocket, no problem. All right guys, I gotta apologize for that. Seriously, I apologize for that. But I really wanted to show you that this is one of the best uh, pocketable frames that you can get out there. Now, whew, there we go. So guys, what are my final thoughts on this frame? Well. Uh, first of all, I gotta come out and say that this frame is a little bit too small for my hand. Uh, that said, it does shoot really well the way it is. No issues with, with how it performs. It's solidly built. 
No uh, funny transitions or any weirdness. Fit and finish is fantastic as usual for Andrew's, uh, Andrew's work, uh, but it is a little bit small. The good news is, is that Andre is a custom builder, so what I would have him do is I'd add, have him add another uh, another centimeter to this, bring it up to 25 centimeters, just enough to uh, make it a little bit bigger for my hand. You can see my hand passes the frame, um, and I'd probably add about two millimeters on each side of the fork, and uh, that's about it. That'll bring me up to my 90 millimeters, which is my sweet spot, and uh, it'll be good to go. As for the grip, though, even as is, it's very stable, very secure. It'll hold on to your hold on uh, in your hand real well in all kinds of shooting conditions, wet, dry, hot, cold, doesn't really matter. It'll take it. And um, the overall performance and the oh, the pocketability. Let's talk about the pocketability. You could slide this in and out of any single pocket on your body, no problem. You could go ahead, tuck it, tuck it in your hat, and you're good to go. I'm telling you, this thing is awesome. For those of you guys who've got those nice long beards, you can even tuck this thing under your beard and keep it warm for you. I'm telling you, this thing is a, is a great little EDC frame and it'll handle just about anything you need to need it to do. So, uh, for that said, I'm giving this one another two thumbs up. Uh, you can't really go wrong when, you, when you're dealing with uh, Prime 4 catapults. Andrew's an awesome dude who does awesome work. Um, but, like I said, the only knock I can give you on this particular one that I'm shooting is that it was... Uh, it was uh, not, not really made for my hand. It's a little bit on the small side for me. But uh, when I do order mine, another one, uh, it will be a little bit longer, a little bit wider. But that said, beautiful frame. And for those of you who like 85 millimeter frames, you'll be in business. All right, guys, that's all I got to say. It's time for me to wrap this one up and head on in. It's freaking cold out here. Thanks a lot for watching. You get up, practice, stay safe, be good to each other. I'll see you again soon. I love you guys. You're freaking awesome. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. Well, the Hyper Hunter, just like all other slingshots I've reviewed from Prime Port Catapults, is pretty much the same. Another really well built, good shooting slingshot that'll be great to add to your collection. Sorry guys, I'll add a couple of uh, videos here for you guys to check out. Um, we'll put on the review for the Celtic Caddy Blue here, and we'll also put on a video of another Prime Fork Catapult slingshot that you might just like. Alright, that's it for me. I'm going to wrap this one up and take off, but you guys take care. I'll see you again soon with another video in not too long. Bye for now.